Hi, y'all. You having any fun tonight? All right, let's keep it going for this last one, okay? Now, I was talking to my brother, Tuck. Um, he's just exhausted from doing everything around the house by himself. He's Mr. Mom type. How many of y'all are Mr. Mom? Any in the audience? Yeah, he does everything around the house. He does all the cooking by himself. He does all the cleaning by himself. He has all the sex by himself. <laughs> Tuck calls his wife the general. Now, last Monday night, the general sent him out for a quart of milk. Tuck is the only person I know that can find a convenience store slash kitty bar. <laughs> he didn't get home till Friday. And of course, he forgot the milk. Now, you'd think the titties would have reminded him, wouldn't you? I was telling my friend Kathy that I'm thinking about getting a divorce. She says, why are you running away from your marriage? Well, it's because I can't fly. <laughs> So many of my friends are letting their unemployed adult children move home with them. Ah, uh, you, right? Well, the media calls these kids boomerang kids. I just call them losers. Steak and potatoes for the kids today, cat food for the parents tomorrow. Now, me, I've never been much of a picky eater. If I could pick it up, I'd eat it. I grew up in a family with my father and my brother. It was a manly household. You know how some families have that uh, three-second rule about the food that falls on the floor? We had the three-day rule. For Daddy, it was a week of his fam. Well, maybe I am a little bit of a picky eater. Spam makes cat food look like filet mignon. Now, sugar, that's my heroin tidbit. I just love me some candy. How many of y'all like candy? That was easy. <laughs> but I'll be damned if I'm going to let some broken English store clerk make a value judgment on my purchases. Now, they usually say something like, You again? You're going to eat all that? Yes, I am, Sanjay. <laughs> and I'll probably finish every bite before I even get back to the caddy. Well, now, I just don't shop at the same store twice. Last Friday, I had to drive all the way to make it for a fix. <laughs> If you count the gas, that damn Snickers cost me 30 bucks. It's a good thing it was king size. I just love king size. Now, my doctor did tell me I should lose a few pounds. I said, hey, I have solved my weight problem. I just went out and bought me some bigger underwear. At least when you're fat, getting older has a couple of advantages. It's been a really long time since some soccer mom in the grocery line has looked at me and said, So, when's the baby day? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I know I'm getting older. Gray hair was a real wake-up call, especially when it, well, when it started to move south. <laughs> You know. <laughs> Hell, I'm just lucky to have hair. The only thing more pitiful than a bald woman is a bald cat. <laughs> now, 
Now, my husband's getting older, too, but what I can't understand is why he cannot remember my birthday, but he can remember every golf shot he's ever made in his entire life. Men and their balls. I usually don't mind when my husband looks at other women. We were at a restaurant last night, and I swear to God, he almost drooled a little bit when a young, gorgeous thing with a particularly impressive rack walked in front of us. I said, well, I've got a pretty good rack, too. He looked at me and said, length and everything. I know. I looked right back at him and said, honey, that is my line. days I can't remember where I put anything, even if I put it in a special place. How many of y'all have the special placement thing going for you? Yeah, the special place. Well, sometimes I forget where it is, and this morning it took me over two hours to find my car keys. They were in my underwear. The ones that I had on. God knows where I put the remote control. Thank you.